Design Studio. Today, we are going to learn how to use the milling machine. The number one priority in our lab is safety. So, grab your goggles and make sure that if you have long hair, to tie your hair up. Let us look at what equipment we need to use for today's session. We have a can of WD-40. This is grease. Your milling blades. Your work keys. A set of Allen keys. And a dustpan and broom. No. For the work piece, before you start working on it, make sure to have markings as shown so that you know what drill bits to use and how deep to go. For this, the ones which are in the blue marker are for my 516 drill bits which will be going at a depth of 5mm. The pencil markings are my channels which will be the 316 at 3 millimeters. We will first secure our workpiece onto the milling machine. Position your workpiece onto the Y axis and ensure that when you position your locks on your workpiece, the portions which are to be milled are not in the way of the locks. Once you're satisfied with the position, use a 532 Allen key to secure the locks in place. Give your workpiece a good shape to make sure that it's secured in place. Start our workpiece with the 316 drill bit. Notice that there is a little catch over here. This is where the screw will adhere to when it locks it in place. Now that the chunk is loosened, position this catch in the direction of the screw. And when you tighten it just a little, you'll notice that there is limited free there is a little free play. So now pull the drill bit down to its lowest free play and tighten by twisting the screw clockwise. You know that your drill bit is securely fastened when the screw is flushed with the chuck. Drill bit is in place. We need to position the drill bit to our starting point on the workpiece. For this workpiece, we'll be moving the 316 drill bit from top to bottom, then from right to left. Check that the speed control on the milling machine is set to an 8 o'clock position. This is to prevent the machine from over revving when you start it up. Now let us turn the milling machine on. Its main switch is located over here. And notice when you turn it on that your drill bit should not be spinning out of control. If it doesn't move, that means your speed limit needs a little adjustment. 
you want it to be at a slow revolving speed so that you can position and calibrate your starting point on your workpiece. Now slowly lower your Z axis and because this is acrylic there is a piece of paper just on it. Now you notice that the paper is starting to peel off. This will be your starting point. Go back to your Z axis knob and spin the red ring such that this lubber line is in line with the zero mark. Note for our 316 drill bit, we will be drilling 3 millimeters. One revolution of the Z axis will take you 5 millimeters. Therefore, we will only go 6 units down. Now that it is in place, we can increase our drill speed to a 9 clock position. Pull your platform down. And twist the Z axis. It is good that after you have gone down half a revolution to go back up, stop the machine and remove the material. This is to prevent the extruded material from hindering you, your drill bit from going down. After you have cleared the material, resume Now I have gone down to the depth that I want, hold it in place for 3 to 5 seconds. Now I will be moving downwards. It is good to stop once in a while because all the extruded material blocks your view. And resume. After you are done working with your workpiece, remove your workpiece from the milling machine and remember to remove the drill bit as well. Replace the drill bit back into its holder and use the vacuum cleaner to vacuum up any shavings you have. Always remember to bring the Z-axis up for the next user. And remember to switch off the mains. Remember, in this lab, safety is our number one priority. Thank you for your attention.